Hey guys and gals, A here. Welcome to another episode of EDC. Today we are talking banters. So what ones do I have? What do I think of them? How cool are they? What are the specific specs or how do they look compared to each other? All your questions and more will hopefully be answered right after this because here we go. All right, guys and gals. So I jumped on the banter bandwagon and I got uh, not one, but two. I got the Wii banter, the original, and then I got the Civivi baby banter. And so uh, I've had them for a bit now. I've gotten to um, carry them, to use them, to compare them, and they're cool. They are very, very cool. So um, this is the uh, Civivi baby banter, and this is in the purple and black coloration. And uh, as you can tell, it has the dual thumb stud and a very deep carry pocket clip right there. Um, black hardware and then the Civivi logo. And this knife uh, flicks open pretty easily. It's nice and smooth. And then it is a liner lock. And you just push that over, which allows you to close the knife. Sorry, I did that off camera. So you just push that over, allows you to close the knife, full one hand operation. So great little knife and you can uh, push it open or you can, you know, like I showed you before, you can definitely flick and that thing snaps right out. And if you're pretty efficient with it, you can even uh, flick it from the backside, which is pretty, pretty cool. I'm learning how to do that. That is definitely a newer trick in my uh, repertoire. But that is the baby banter. And then for the uh, banter, the original version, very similar. <laughs> it's, it's the same knife, guys. That one ended up with a sticker on it from my little man. He loves stickers. Two and a half year olds. Stickers are everything right now. Um, I've got them everywhere. But so this deep carry pocket clip, this is the blue and just the, the standard, you know, stone wash blade. Um, has the uh, silver stone wash hardware. And this one as well flips open very nicely. And there's the fully extended version. Dual thumb studs as well for left or right carry. And again, you can back flip that thing open if that is uh, something you enjoy doing and a uh, liner log. You can also open it on your own. Super smooth knife. Both of them have some jimping on the back to gain a little purchase if you're, you know, like fine cutting something. Um, but that's not all you came here for. So we'll start off with some specs on the uh, baby banter. So this uh, has, oh my goodness, the, the steel is, um, it's, it's leaving me right now. I will add it in here. I believe it's the first time I've ever used the steel that is on this, this knife right here. So I will add that on somewhere so you can read what it is. Um, but it's a steel I'm not familiar with. So I do believe this is the first knife that I've had it. Um, and then those are G10 handles. And the blade itself is coming in right at two inches. The whole length of the knife, we are looking at five and a half and so then you're looking at the handle being about three inches slightly over so two inch blade and two inches is the actual cutting surface of the blade two inches from here um the actual cutting surface of the blade the the whole blackened portion itself comes in at just under two and a half uh, probably like 2.4 but the actual cutting surface, you're looking at uh, two inches basically on the nose. So very compact knife, um, gonna have a lot more chance to be legal where you are. 
I know three inches is kind of the magic number for a lot of places. Obviously check your own uh, local laws before you carry a knife. But now I, I do not have large hands. I have definitely on the medium size hands and I can get, I can get a full four finger grip with my hands on the, uh, the um, handle itself but I can also pop my finger into that choil for the first finger and now I've got a little bit of the knife hanging out of my hand. So I can imagine that if you have larger hands um, using this choil here for your finger that you could probably get a solid three finger grip potentially even four you just might have a your pinky you know kind of holding on to the end of that. But um, for being a small knife, it doesn't feel small. And I think part of that lends to the height right here. The height we're looking at of the handle gives your hand a little more to, to grab a hold of, to get a grip on. And so I think it helps to make it not feel quite so small. As well as that blade with the shape of it, with the angle, like you can, I don't feel when I'm cutting with this that I'm missing out on a blade. Like it, it feels perfect. So I could definitely see if you were wanting to go with one of these knives and didn't know which and price was what drove your choice, this would not be a bad knife at all. It's solid. You would probably fall in love with it. It's a great knife. You don't feel like you're missing any, uh, any blade, even though this is the baby version. So very well done. And I think a lot of people actually even prefer this. Um, it is, it's that good. Like just a really good knife really great size and uh, weight and so this really does just kind of disappear in your pocket and uh, this is one of the first purple knives that I got and that is a ballin combination right there that purple and black so really great and this knife you're gonna find around 55 to 65 dollars I think 59 is pretty pretty common so you're you're not um, getting you know like a, a super cheap cheap knife um, Definitely in the, you know, 59, you know, it is what it is. $59 is different things to different people. Um, but uh, for the price, you are definitely getting a lot of knife and a good, good quality. And then the Wii uh, Banter, same thing, except larger. So this does have the G10 scandals, handle, the G G10 handles, G10 scales as well. I'm just going to combine those two words into scandals which is its own word that doesn't mean scales or handles. Um, but uh, those are G10 handles as well. And this is a S35VN, I believe it's CPM S35VN. So a steel that I am much more familiar with. Um, and this one, as you can see, I'm getting my four finger grip on there with knife extending from the hand. So if you have a larger hand, I could easily see you still being able to get purchase on that with the pinky kind of grabbing onto the end there. And this one does not have the finger choil because it's not ne it's not needed. This is a full full grip knife for sure. So blade length on this, we are looking at just under three inches. So still hitting that magic number. And the whole knife is coming in at about six and a half inches long. And the handle itself comes in at the three and a half inch mark. So three and a half and three equals six and a half. That all adds up very nicely um and the weight on this uh like it's there's nothing going on in here it is a that's a hollow knife and so it allows the weight to be so light on here and i'm looking to see i do believe that these are not full skeletonized uh liners in here but it does look like there is, there's some of the liner that is missing and it could just be to help the liner lock to pop out. But uh, this is not a heavy knife at all and I love it. So here are these two knives together and the little bit of rundown that I know. So we have the banter, which started it all. And then we have the baby banter, but they are by two different companies, We and Civivi. So here's, here's the bit I know, same company, we and Civivi are the same company. We is the higher end, um, better quality knives, and Civivi is the more budget friendly, but still hitting on all the magic points that make We knives so well. So if you if you grab you know whatever knife it is you're used to using, whatever brand, and you open it and close it, and then you get a Civivi in your hands, 
the Civivi feels so smooth, so smooth. And it's because what they've learned from Lee, they figured out how to transfer over into a more budget friendly knife. And so this knife, like I told you, this knife comes in 59 is what you're going to see, but 55 to 65 for obviously, obviously you can find different variations at different price points, but 55 to, to 65 for this knife. Uh, this one is going to come in at about 110, um, but you are getting the quality of Wii knives. So same company, um, just like the, the more high end and the more budget friendly. And uh, like I said, the quality on these, like the, the open, um, the Wii knife is, is expected to open super smooth and it does not disappoint. But the Civivi is also on a ball bearing and that thing snaps out as well. I will say the, the opening and clo closing of the Wii is just, it, it's magic. Like you, you feel like you have something quality um, that you're pivoting on. Like there's, there's something so smooth about this action right here. Um, that, that really does scream quality. And I'm not saying the Civivi doesn't have it, um, but it's, it's just, it's a little different if that makes sense. Like, I don't know. It's, and it, it really is probably the, the, the quality of what's going on on the inside on these knives. Um, the, they're both excellent and are incredible, but there is definitely, um, I don't know. We and Civivi, it's, they're the same, but they're different, if that makes sense. And uh, they're both great. Like, I seriously can't tell you to pick one over the other. Um, if I were to buy a, another one, because I do want more of these, um, throw them in bags, keep them around, whatever. Um, my next one I bought, if I were to buy another, because I probably won't, I will probably just buy different scales and play around with these. But if I were to buy a third, I would probably get a banter. And then a fourth, it would probably be another baby banter. So if that if that tells you anything on my opinion of these, but I, I love these. They are great. They are beautiful, gorgeous looking knives. They feel great in the hand. And so there you can tell a pretty significant difference in the size of these knives. And I can tell you in holding them, it doesn't look that different. And then opening them up, you see here again like you can see the the difference in these knives same knife just a shrunken down version um but it definitely there's a it's not it's not a little bit smaller like it's smaller it's you can you can definitely tell what you're seeing on screen is is accurate like it's definitely a smaller knife um but like i said some people prefer this knife right here and some people prefer that one I am happy I have both and can change day to day as I want to. Um, both are incredible. If you can, get them both. If you have one, let me know what you think. If you have one and want to know if you should buy the other, ask me and I will give you my opinion. Yes. <laughs> if you have the finances to do it, get both because uh, they are incredible. If you don't and you're like, I, 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 can, I can get the baby banter or I'm going to have to wait to get the big one, whichever you prefer. Do you like larger knives? Save up and get this one. Do you prefer smaller knives? Grab this one. Like it's, they're both awesome and I don't think you would be disappointed with either. Um, and there's so many colorations and I believe there are a ton of aftermarket scales you can get for these. So you can definitely customize them. Highly recommend them. Great knives. Check them out. You won't be disappointed. And uh, yeah, get them. They're cool. <laughs> So that's my opinion on them. Definitely let me know what you think if you have one. And uh, let me know what other knives you want to see or knife comparisons. If you are thinking about getting a knife, but you want to know how it is, let me know. And I'll see what I can do. My, my knife collection is not the most in the world, but I do have quite a few. And I'm always looking for new ones. So if you want a knife I don't have, I might pick it up and check it out. So comment below, let me know what you wanna see on upcoming videos. We've got a lot coming up and a lot of stuff I'm excited for, but I'm always open for suggestions. Guys, like and comment, let me know what you're thinking. Um, I will never ask you to subscribe, you do you, but I would appreciate it if you did. So uh, yeah, comment below, get a conversation going, let's, let's talk, let me know what you think on these knives and I will be back with a new video. Remember, EDC? EDC.